Hello everyone, it's Minx once again. Um, this one's going to be aimed more at modders rather than uh, um, players, um, but feel free to stay and watch. It's going to be a quick one regardless. Um, so today we're going to be uh, showing, I'm going to show you how to really quickly implement your mod into mine. The video is going to be about five minutes, but actually doing so takes two or three minutes um, because I do want to cover a couple extra things here real quick. So um, the way it works, because maybe you have a slightly better implementation, um, I'm going to be releasing this into beta soon and I would like to take feedback so I can make it even better. Um, but right now it broadcasts a message. Um, so it gets your plugin, it gets all the plugins and it, to each plugin it sends a message saying, Call this method, send mod info, and it passes on an instance of my object, um, or uh, yes, the static reference to my plugin. Um, that way you can access it. Uh, unfortunately, you do have to reference my DLL, um, unless there's a way around it that I was unable to find. Um, awesome, please share. Um, otherwise, um, you may have to reference my uh, DLL to uh, make it happen. Um, but once it does that, it sends it over. Um, what my mod is expecting is for you to respond with get mod info. Um, so I send you this message and this message calls a function and you get to determine what happens with that method. Um, but ultimately, um, if you want your mod to be sent over to clients to be downloaded, um, I need a mod creator and a mod name, which we will talk about when we get over to adding it to the uh, uh, to your mod, um, where to get those two things. They're pretty straightforward. Um, you probably already know what they are because they're from Thunderstore. But um, okay, and that's it. My mod handles everything else from that point on. Um, it'll reload your mod and all that good stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and open up a project. I'm going to open up a uh, this tutorial mod thing. And I already have it referenced, but just in case, um, you guys should uh, probably all know this, add reference, um, LC mod sync, be on the latest version uh, when a DL is available, of course. Um, but um, we're going to hit OK here. So um, we need one method. Um, we need to call it send mod info. Um, we'll say public void send mod info. Please don't make it static. Um, and then in here, we need to reference um, mod sync plugin. And I like to call it sender. You can call it whatever you want. Sender dot get mod info. And it takes two strings. Keep in mind, they do strip special characters. Um, the only special characters allowed are the underscore, a period, or a hyphen. Um, I'm potentially going to get rid of the dot because it's uh, potentially unsafe. But um, with all the checks, it probably doesn't matter. But just in case, um, I need to determine if dots are allowed in names. Because if they are, then I'm going to leave it. But otherwise, I'll get rid of it. Um, but OK, so we need the mod name and or the mod creator and the mod name. I have an example pulled up, and we're going to use that example um, from the LC API. It's the example I've been using the whole time uh, for all this stuff because it just makes things super easy. Um, so the mod creator is 2018. So we're going to pass 2018 through as a string. And then the mod name is LC API. We're going to pass that through as a string. Control S, Control B to build. And we're going to give this a real quick test. So we're going to um, hop over to here. There's the reference to mod sync. We've got tutorial mod. Drop that in there. And with that in there, we should be able to go ahead and hit play. And we're looking for it to say uh, LC API. There it is right there. We have received LC API. If we go back to mod sync, we go. Um, Recent projects, LC mod sync, and we come over to get mod info, which is what was called. Um, we can see mls.log, but we have received mod name, LC API. So um, that is how I got it to work. If there's a slightly better way to do it, or even a much better way to do it, please, I'm all ears. This is the best way I could find because I don't have. Um, I don't have an easier way to that I know of to do it. So um, that's how you add it. It's going to be uploaded into the GitHub or updated into the GitHub as well as Discord on how to do so um, and all that good stuff. Um, but otherwise, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.